Welcome to Spirituality Explained for the Average Joe. Where I take one spiritual topic and explain it to you in a short video. To explore life's greatest questions. And we don't know what really is. Like, who are we? For the kingdom of heaven is within you. And what are we? Where did we come from? The time of conception. Why are we here? And where are we going? A yogi. Just what in the heck is a yogi? No. A yogi, a person who is proficient in yoga. Okay, so we know a yogi is so much more than somebody that can like bend their body in a weird pretzel shape. It's, they live their life in a certain philosophical and ideological way. We often look at these yogis as like these perfect beings and something that we could never strive to be ourselves. But yogis are people too. So to help lay the spiritual foundation of my new series, we're gonna go over what is a yogi. I'm gonna tell you 12 cool characteristics of a yogi given to me one Sunday morning at temple, straight from a monk. So this is coming straight from the horse's mouth, a monk that lives at an ashram. And while we go over this, guys, it could easily be applied to your career and personal life. So size yourself up as I go through and see just how yogi you are. A yogi is confident. They believe in themselves and they don't need validation from others. They know they can accomplish anything when they put their mind to it. Yogis create. They don't wait for opportunities to come. They create them. They create where they need to be and they definitely don't blame their outer circumstances. Problems equal opportunity. So problems are challenges that they can overcome and they turn a problem into their favor and they seek help from others and they see everything coming to them as being from God. Yogis sacrifice, so they're willing to give up sense pleasures and miss social activities and forego this immediate gratification for a bigger reward. Action, they don't talk, they do. So while everybody else is yammering and milling about, a yogi is discreetly already working, going at it, and prioritizing and balancing. And a side note that I have on this little one is God will respond by dropping thoughts into others. They will later step into your life to help you with your goal. So that's cool. Urgency. They have a healthy sense of urgency. They make spiritual hay when the sun is shining. People always say, oh, I'll meditate deeper, you know, when I get a partner or I'll meditate deeper after my work slows down. But you know, it never slows down. Everything else can wait, but our search for God cannot. Yogis are resilient. They stumble, they get back up. They do not wallow in self-pity. They never give up. They do not stop. Perseverance, eventually you will win goals. They eat, sleep, and dream their goals. And even when they're working on something else, it's still in correlation with their goal. Write your goals down. Just by writing your goal down, you increase your chances of achieving it by 50%. Visualize it, feel it, meditate, then think on it. And most importantly, feel it. Don't wait for your future to start by someone calling you. You do it. I can do it. I'm a yogi. I could do anything. Find out what it is you want through introspection. Numbers, they understand the power of numbers. They understand the power of group meditation and they put themselves in reinforcing environments. Realistic, they set realistic, measurable, attainable goals. Break your goals down to bite-sized, chewable, mm, attainable goals, tangible goals. Self-development, they value this. They're always seeking unique ways to better themselves. Introspection, millions of us go about, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, always looking to entertain ourselves like robots without even ever giving ourselves self-analysis. And introspection and analysis is one of the highest of all art forms. And we will never find true lasting happiness without self-introspection. Focus. 
laser-like focus. They don't let anything deter them from their goals. And with their focus, they're able to realize they're winning more and more and more. I hope this helps ease your perception of yogis. And while monks and nuns will continue to wear their outfits and their robes of ochre, we ourselves can become yogis in our own day-to-day -day lives in this modern world by just simply changing our awareness, our attention, and our consciousness. Because we can't rely on the few monks and nuns of the world to make the change. It's got to come from the masses. It's got to come from each individual. You know, everyone walks around saying, I want to make a big change and leave a legacy and make a difference on the world. But every extraordinary change comes from within you. Thanks for watching. Please like, follow, and subscribe. But most of all, guys, I ask that you share me with someone you think I could bring inspiration to. Love you.